Okay, I just thought about another story time, so here I am. Okay, so when I was living in the hotel, right, um, it was this dude that was one of my mom's friends, you know, he was chilling out with us, you know, and he's not, he's not crazy, but he just... You know, he's the dude that got laced, okay? He, he's, I made a story about him. Like, this, the title says um, he overdosed. That's a story about him, you know? I, you know he, as you know, he mixed up drugs, and then he smoked, like, a whole bunch of drugs mixed together, and then, you know, now, his brain, now everybody call him a zombie, okay? It's, it's messed up, but I know. Like, his, he just kind of, yeah, his brain don't process right. So, <clears throat> so, um... We're in a hotel and it's nighttime. I'm watching TV. Um, just you know, I'm just chilling with my family. And my mom's my mom say, um, no, not my mom. My bad. My brother he asked he asked um dude his name is Chad. He asked um my brother asked him um he'll get something from the store for me because my brother didn't feel like walking. So he's like, yeah, yeah. What you want? What you want? You know, some something to smoke, whatever. So, he go walk into the store because the, the the store is literally not that far walk. You just walk like you can literally see it if you step outside. So he goes to the store just to go get some cigar um cigars, bro. He comes back with two cases of beer, mind you. My brother only gave him like what two dollars? That's how much it costs down here. He came back with two big cases of beer. A big, like, you know, like, when you go to the store, you're looking for, like, the um, Snickers, and, like, it's, like, on this tray thingy. He took the whole thing. He took, um, he took a whole thing. It's, like, had 16 Snickers in it. Big, full um, size Snickers. Like, he took, like, what, eight bags of them big $10 beef jerkies. I know they're expensive, but $10 beef jerky. He took, like, five, he took, like, eight of those. Yeah, it was about eight. Um, so a whole bunch of gum, like candy, like gummy bears and stuff, bro. He so he stole so much stuff, and the thing is, that's actually a pretty expensive store. Like literally, a pack of gum is like five dollars for a small bag. Like it is, it is expensive there, and it's ran by just one person, and it's, and it's the old Indian lady. So he when he come back, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, what? Like my mom, my mom was like, really, Chad? Really? <laughs> and we, you know, he just gave us all our stuff. He just, we all start grumbling that whole night, man. And you know, the next, the next night, he said, "I'll be right back." And mom, my mom said, "You better not go anywhere." So he go, he leaves and go to the store. And um, he do the same thing. Two cases of beer. The only reason, the only reason he was still in two cases of beer, is because he was selling it to people. And you know, that's how he gets money. I mean, he in jail right now. Like he literally went back to jail for stealing again. So yeah, he still the same thing. Two cases of beer, some beef jerky, some candy, and he get away with it like one more time. Like, two. yeah, he get it. No, he get away with it like one, once or twice, again. Um, so it's, um, it's about three in the afternoon and we hear a knock at the door. Boom. boom, 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 boom. So I look at the people. I look back at my mom. I'm like, mama, that's the cops. It's the cops. So, um, Chad, he's in the door with the door. The, he's in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom. The door is open and he's like, don't open that door. So, bro, I look at my mom. I was like, what do I do? She didn't even know, like, she's supposed to, like, she said, I don't know, so I just opened it, you know, and, um, they said, where, they said, um, is Chad here, Chadrick, and, and they said, and I said, like, this is the most dumbest thing I ever did, like, it was, like, I, it was, I felt so stupid, like, when I get around cops, I panic, and I say the wrong thing, so I instantly just said, no, he's not here. And it's like, do you mind if we check then? And I was like, oh my gosh, man. 
Like, I, I was scared, you know? Like, I was scared. Like, I'm going to go to jail for lying to these cops, man. I mean, they weren't cops. They were bounty hunters. So, um, they, they both, there was two of them. They both walk in and they both got their tasers with the red beam on it, obviously. And they start looking everywhere. And I don't know why they try to look under the bed, but there's no, like, there's literally you no know, under the bed. It's like a, just a bed like that. It's, it's no under, like, there's no under the bed. But yeah, they get to the door, the bathroom door, and it's like, is anybody in there? Is anybody in there? And it's just silent. And they knock again. And they open it slowly. And they point a taser. And they get on the ground, get on the ground, get on the ground. He's like, what? I didn't even do nothing. And they get on the ground, get on the ground. So they arrest him. They arrest him. And I ain't gonna lie. The one of the bounty hunters was cool. They're actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Um, they take him. And it was actually really sad. You know, even though he was like, you know, every time it's nighttime, like, Every time it's night, he always look in the mirror and start singing. For like, like it'd be like four, three o'clock in the morning. He just sit in the mirror, and stand in the mirror like this, and he just sings. That it's it'd be so annoying and creepy. I'd be feel like he's trying to stab me in my sleep. Like our first night, he did that. I thought he was gonna stab me in my sleep because I was in the house. Like I was in there alone with him, bro, in the dark, and I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. But no, he turned out pretty cool. Um, yeah. He sit in the um, police car and there's like cops and there's a, a detective and they're just questioning him, whatever, whatever they do. They was doing in that car. He was he sat in there for like 20 minutes until they finally finally left and he was gone for a month, literally just 30 days. And um, yeah, he got out and I ain't gonna lie, when he got out, I was kind of cause like out here he's like he's vulnerable man. Like he don't have the mindset he used to have. Like he used to have a house, a car, but now like. He, he can barely really think like you know he's he, he's staying like he was he like like he like he laced himself you know he laced himself not knowing what's gonna happen to him and you know it's really it's really sad but yeah he went to jail again not sure he probably he most likely stole something because he's still alive um the, you know what the crazy thing is when he got out of jail the first thing he said the first thing he said was, um, I love jail. They get free. They get, we got free food and all. He said he liked jail. Like, he feel better in jail than out here. And, I, you know, I feel him, man. It's hard, but especially for him because he don't have anybody. He don't have anybody. He don't got no mom, no dad. He don't got anybody. So, you know, it's just hard out there for him. So he rather be in prison. And I mean, jail. And that's where he is now. Like, every time he's still and stuff, he literally just get 30 days in jail and they let him go. And he go again and give him 30 days. And just it's, it's just a back and forth thing. So, um, yeah. That's store time on him still in And them snacks were good. Man, it was so good. I ate so much beef jerky. Like, I, I don't eat the originals. I don't eat the teriyaki. It's nasty. It tastes like rubber. I don't, I don't like it. But, <clears throat> yeah. It was funny. I was cracking up laughing when he did that. But yeah, that's the story time. And thank you for watching.